House Planters, welcome back to Millennial Planter, I'm Marina, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, I'm so happy you're here, and today I want to talk about all the plants that I am currently in love with because, you know, it's Valentine's Day and all, and I'm really just sharing my favorites, some that I've been digging the last month or so, and I just can't keep my eyes off of, and the plants I would make my Valentine's if I was a plant daddy okay i'm stretching let's just get on into the video so the first plant that i want to talk about is quite easily one of my favorite genus of plants and i talk about them all the time and it's my skindapsis argyreus i mean just look at this baby winter who she has just been growing like like you wouldn't believe look at all these look at all these trails like just so beautiful i am obsessed with her and i had to put her in the corner of my shelf just so i could look at all these trails trailing down and just the beauty that is the syndapsis pictus i i mean i love it i love you i love you so much my next plant that i wouldn't mind being my valentine is this philodendron micans. I feel like this is a plant in people's collections that they just love. Like, I don't think I've ever met somebody that's just like, eh, I'm not that crazy about them because the micans is quite easily just one of the best philodendrons. They have these beautiful velvety leaves and they grow so easily look at all these tendrils that it has i mean it is so beautiful and these adorable baby leaves oh and i just can't stop obsessing over these leaves i am propagating some right now so i could share with some friends because i think that this is definitely something everybody should have in their collection it's just so beautiful next the plant that I am currently, that I am also currently in love with is the Sansevieria, um, Bird's Nest Sansevieria, Bird's Nest Sansevieria. Honestly, I'm not too sure what the name is. I've had this one for some months now and as you can see it is in ceramic and I've only had to water it twice because I mean, if you don't know, ceramic really holds on to moisture and it's in a really low lit area in my house and I went to water it the other day and it's pushing out a baby. I'm gonna have to do a close up. But there's a little baby there that's coming out and I was so shocked because you're in such a low light area but you're showing me so much love. Oh, I was so happy and I can't wait to see this little baby come out. It's just so cute and such an exciting time. <laughs> now we're on the top three and I'm really excited because these plants, I'm just like, easily obsessed with so in spot number three is the calathea musica so if you don't know costa farms has come out with a line of trendy tropicals and in it they are selling the zz raven the peperomia polybotria the begonia maculata whitei and the calathea musica i was lucky enough to find one and I just love seeing the leaves on this calathea go up and down. I didn't do it for the first couple days. Now that it's acclimated to my house, the leaves are definitely moving and I just love it. It's one of the reasons why I love prayer plants and calatheas so much. And just look at the close up on these leaves. They are, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you're in the market for one, definitely check your Home Depot or Lowe's because I've heard they're in both places. Now entering the runner up for who will be my Valentine this year, slash my favorite plant, um, is this beautiful variegated Syngonium. I am obsessed with this plant, really, really, truly obsessed. I know I keep saying this, but just look at these leaves and this foliage major factor why I am so obsessed with this plant is because it's really just like regular syngoniums. I thought it was going to be slower growing or a little bit more finicky because of all the white in it, but honestly, once this baby acclimated to my house, it has just been putting out leaf after leaf. 
these are two of the newest leaves right here and sure enough i looked this morning and it's coming out with the new leaf again and it's just really cool to see all the different variations that it could come up with and every time a leaf unfurls i'm just sitting there watching it because it's like a surprise like you don't know if it's gonna be like a half moon or if it's gonna be like half of it more sectoral with half of it being green and then some blotches of white look at this it's just it's amazing and it just looks so cute in this white planter and i'm obsessed i just can't wait for this thing to be full and start trailing for me it's just it's a real exciting time and last but not least honestly my syngonium would probably be number one but just because it's valentine's day i feel like this plant just has to have the number one title like it's just written in the name and i mean can you guess what it is let me know if you could guess what it is and it's the string of hearts the serapegia woody eye i mean how could you not want this plant to be your valentine look at these beautiful little adorable leaves they're in the shape of a heart how could you not like it Right now, as you can see, mine is a little sparse on the top. I have quite a few strands. I'm working on making it fuller and like making it fuller on the top and fuller on the bottom. So I'll cut off some, I'll cut off the bottom piece, propagate it and stick it on the top. And the cool thing about them is that when you cut it, it will actually split and make two strands. So you will definitely get a fuller trailing plant if you cut cut it back. And once you get the conditions right for this thing, it just, it grows like crazy. If you could see all those light green um, stems there, leaves, that's all the new growth. And I feel like the key to these plants really just to get the watering right because they don't want to be watered too frequently at all. And if you do, they will, they'll throw a fit, that's for sure. These string of hearts are just my favorite. And I know I've said it before, but, but I am looking to add a variegated string of hearts and the silver glory to my collection. And then eventually even getting all three of them in a pot together because just to see all that trailing together and all those colors together in one pot i just think that'll be really beautiful <laughs> so here we have it my string of hearts with being my valentine's for 2020. so there we have it friends all the plants that i am currently in love with this month and all the plants that i wouldn't mind being my valentine <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed this video and let me know all the plants you're currently in love with this month or this year and i would just really love to have that chat in the comments down below and i hope you all like this video and subscribe to my channel it really helps out a lot but i will see you all in my next video and just a little quick announcement i am holding a giveaway with some other plant accounts on my Instagram, which is the same as my handle here, Millennial Planter. We are giving away some really nice aeroids, so definitely go check that out and join if you can. Trust me, you're gonna want to try to win these plants. Such awesome plants and a really beautiful handmade macrame. Anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.